Well, hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, another Freely Chief Friday. How is everybody doing today? Oh, Friday, I love Fridays, the end of the week, right? You know, like, shoo, we made it through another week. So hopefully you all had a good week, right? We had an awesome weekend last weekend. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm waiting to see. People are popping on and now I'm not seeing. Um, come, there we go. Hey, okay, good. Hi, Susie, good. Okay, comments are working. Philomena's watching. Okay, all these little eyeballs started popping up and I wasn't seeing any names or anything. So Nikki, all right, hey, Nikki, how are you? Oh, good, good, good. Okay, thank you guys. You found me, yeah, I know. I um, All of a sudden it was one of those, I was running around and I looked at the clock and I thought I had like five minutes and the next thing I know I looked at the clock and I was like, oh, you're out of time. So yeah, the morning scramble as usual. So yeah, um, okay, so I have to show you, let's see, where are my notes, but let me, you know, so I stay on topic right here. Hey Nancy, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. Um, yeah, so I want to show you guys, we had an awesome time last weekend at On Stage. They finally came to Michigan. Stampin' Up! came to Michigan. They were in Lansing, which is not even an hour away from here. And so we had a great, like quick, easy um, commute down to On Stage. Nancy and I went on Friday night to something they call Center Stage. So you have to be um, at a level of silver elite and above, and then they basically just kind of recognize and celebrate you for the evening. So <laughs> uh, what is she saying? Nancy is, yes, yes, Nancy is on. Nancy is here, right? Um, <clears throat> So yeah, we had a great time. Um, food was great. We got to sit with a bunch of demonstrators from, there was a gal from Pennsylvania, another one from Ohio, and then another gal from Kalamazoo area here in Michigan. And I think, was that it? I'm trying to remember if there was anybody else, but yeah, might've been, yeah. So anyway, it was fun. We got to connect with some new people. And the funniest thing was, I don't know if there were maybe a couple of hundred of us there Friday night, and then there were 1,330 of us there in Lansing on Saturday. And so Friday night when we were leaving, we're like, oh, that was so nice to meet the gals that we were sitting with. And we said, we'll see you tomorrow. And you know, in my head, I'm like, well, we'll see, maybe, because that we that's a lot of people, um, you know, 1,330 people. But we saw all, all of the gals that we sat with that night. We saw them all, I think in the morning, maybe, or kind of throughout the day. So that was fun to be able to see them again, too. So, okay, so I have to show you guys. I'm like all, I don't know, you've probably seen some of these things some other demonstrators have been sharing, but this is the fun backpack that we got. And I was like, okay, these are fairly bright, right? Um, but when you look at them closer, they're actually, they love to do this too. These are patterns, and I'm trying to remember, I think it's the Poppy Suite. I do not know any of the names yet. I have like barely flipped through my catalog. I'll show you um, what we got from the catalog too. Um, but yeah, so they've got this the fun little pockets. Ooh, and actually this is really cool because the inside of this pocket, that's what the whole inside, oops, there. Now you guys can see a little bit better. But it's a good size so you can fit like your laptop right back in there. Got some other pockets. I feel like I may be too close. So anyway, yeah, just a fun, bright, bold backpack that we all received with um, the Stampin' Up! motif the poppy paper is what I'm going to call it, like poppy designer series paper. Um, <clears throat> okay, so have you guys seen the, and it kind of coordinates perfectly, isn't this fun? So it's a, I say like a landscape opening, and I can't actually open it, unfortunately, but if you're a demonstrator, maybe you have even gotten your catalog. I know some of them were shipped out early, so some people actually got them last week before on stage, which was like a big blooper, like no, no, that wasn't supposed to happen, but you know, maybe you were lucky enough to get it last week, or if not, I think they're, honestly, I don't know when the last time was I checked my mailbox, but maybe I have another copy up there. So anyway, but um, uh, uh, the mailing selector, um, you know, if, um, uh, demonstrators selected to send you a catalog those should be going out in the next little bit also um, so yeah hopefully everybody will have one of these hot little catalogs in their hand so this is the occasions catalog with that beautiful poppy suite right and then this is the celebration brochure and I have to tell you guys I was um, oh, can I do this without my glasses I don't want to put my glasses on because <laughs> I don't like I have put them on the end of my nose and I look really funny um, okay, so I have to tell you guys though, so if I can read this. So the starter kit deal, which starts when does celebration start? On 
January 3rd. So uh, demonstrators can actually pre-order. Yeah, let me just back up. I'm like, oh, I've got lots of fun things I can tell you guys about. So demonstrators can pre-order out of the occasions catalog and get celebration benefits. Hey Sally, how are you? Uh, starting on December 3rd. So if you cannot wait, if you are already being teased and have seen lots of cute things in both of these catalogs, you can get the starter kit. You could get the starter kit now and then you'd be a demonstrator. So on December 3rd, you can order out of both of these catalogs. Or if you wait until December 3rd, in your um, starter kit, you can pick things, well, not out of celebration, but you can pick things out of the occasions catalog to get in your starter kit. And then you can start getting all the great benefits too of being a demonstrator. If you are not quite ready to do it and you wanna wait for the celebration deal, which um, I will tell you, so the normal deal right now through January 2nd is pick $125 in product, anything that you want, pay only $99, plus sales tax, no shipping. So it's always a great deal. If you're gonna go spend around $100 on Stampin' Up! product, you might as well get the starter kit and you might as well do it through me so you can be an inspired stamper and then we can have lots of fun together um, in our group as well. Um, if you want to wait until celebration though, which was kind of where I started with all of this, the starter kit deal during celebration is different. So the past couple of years, it was the same and this year they changed it up, which that's true to form with Stampin' Up! You never know, you can never um, expect and plan on what they've done in the past is what they're gonna do now. So this is the awesome some starter kit deal during celebration you uh, oh I wish I could show you guys this you get to pick <clears throat> the regular $125 in product and paying just $99 plus sales tax no shipping plus you also get a super cute new mini paper trimmer and I can like see it right here on the catalog and I'm just dying to show you guys super duper cute the funniest thing was Shannon West at our on stage in Lansing was like yes every purse needs one of these mini paper cutters so I'm like oh I cannot wait to order one myself because I can't wait to you know be able to put it in my purse right okay so you get the mini paper cutter you get a six by six designer series paper sampler so it's different um, paper from the occasions catalog you get a whole sampler of the paper and then it says you get your choice of any stamp set offered in the current catalogs. So that includes host sets and celebration sets as well. So find the most expensive stamp set in the catalog and pick that one. Well, that you like, the most expensive one that you like, right? Or whatever, just pick, you get um, any free stamp set too. So very different deal, more specific. Usually you just get to pick a bunch more product. Hey Julie, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. Um, so yeah, different deal, um, but still awesome. It's always awesome. But even right now, like I said, if you cannot wait and you have a $100 order, get the starter kit because then you get to pick $125 um, and it's actually less. And if you put a $100 order in with tax and shipping, what you would pay is more than if you got the starter kit because you get $125 in product, you pay only $99 plus sales tax, plus then you can get fun stuff out of those catalogs. So, okay, let me show you what we got at on stage and this is this is why i think it's so worth like whatever the fee is that we pay and actually if you accumulate a bunch of flex points you can use your flex points to pay for on stage so then you're not even like you know it's not cash out of your pocket so um lots of great ways you can um pay for on stage too well two cash or flex points <laughs> lots two okay anyway so this is the timeless tulip stamp set which is a stamp set that they put in that cute little um, uh, backpack, I was gonna say bag, but the backpack. They put this stamp set in there so everybody that went to on stage got this stamp set. So you are gonna not be short on great ideas um, for the timeless textures or the timeless tulips stamp set because like I said, a ton of us have this stamp set and we're all gonna be making cute projects and posting them on Pinterest and doing YouTube videos. And let's see. Oh, um, Sally wants to know where I found the trimmer on the brochure. So it's in the very back of the celebration catalog. Um, yeah, like the very last page where it says join Stampin' Up! and they just have a little picture of the trimmer. Um, but Sally, if you're wanting to order one, because Sally's a demonstrator, um, I thought you could only get it through the starter kit, but one of our other gals said, and I must have missed this, but that on stage um, that we'll be able to order this as well. So. 
your, I don't know what that item code is, if we can order it yet. I haven't seen anything on the Stampin' Up! website. So if you're like really wanting one, Sally or anybody else that's a demonstrator, I would call Stampin' Up! and get the scoop on that because I don't, yeah, I looked, I checked current updates and I didn't see anything in there. So um, I don't think it's available quite yet though. That would be my one comment is maybe not quite yet. Um, so yeah, but yeah, I want to get one too. Let me know what you find out. Hey Debbie, how are you doing? I'm glad you're you're here with us. Um, so yeah, so back to this timeless tulip stamp set. They have some great sentiments in here too, and I'm gonna I'm gonna just read them to you because I don't think. Let's see. Well, I'll try to point them out. This one says, "May the memories of yesterday comfort you today." That's that one right there. So great sentiment, right? What a beautiful difference one single life makes. That is awesome. I love that sentiment. This one says, happy Easter, happy spring, happy, happy everything. And cute how they do like block lettering and then the cursive. We've got a hello, a happy birthday, get well soon. We never have enough of those. I'm always looking for a get well sentiment. So this isn't a great stamp set, you know, to get one of those. And then Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day also. So, and then beautiful tulips. And there's a punch that, um, sorry, that glare is bad, right? So I'm trying to remember because we used it. Well, I'll show you, hold on, let's see. Um, I was gonna try to tell you what the punch punched out, um, but I have, I have one of those cards here. Okay, so, well, oh yeah, so it must punch out, you guys can see the big tulip right here and then the leaves. It, I feel like it punched out, I don't know, there are a few, you guys can see how many different leaves on there. I don't, Nick can't punch all those leaves out. I, I can't remember, it's in the catalog. <clears throat> But we'll all be surprised. I'll show you that in a little bit. But anyway, there's a cute punch, right, that coordinates. And that's the fun uh, make and take that we made. Mine didn't turn out quite, you know, it's never quite right, but it's close enough. You guys get the idea. So, and then with that cute little hello on there too. So beautiful, huh? Uh, photopolymer stamp set stamps really, really well, um, making beautiful, uh, timeless tulips, right? Okay, so that's one. Let's see. Oh, so Nancy and I, when we went to Center Stage on Friday night, we got this stamp set called My Meadow. So you can see the cute little gazebo and the bridge and then all the other kind of outdoorsy looking swooshy. <laughs> Oh, fun, fun, fun images in there. I hadn't even really looked. Oh, there's a little wheelbarrow too. Isn't that cute? The little wheel, wheelbarrow and then the whatever, the top of the, inside of the wheelbarrow. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but super cute, fun, fun, fun. And I don't have any of these, um, this, that look. We've had one in the annual catalog, one in the holiday catalog. So this is my first one that kind of um, landscapey scenes like this. So I'm very excited about that one too. Okay, um, let me show you. Oh yeah, okay. So these are kind of fun too. Um, well, I'll show you the stamp set first, I guess. So this one is a fun one. And what was really cool actually, so we had, I think four different make and takes. So we had this big kind of container with stamp sets and ink and ribbon and embellishments and everything that we needed to make our make and takes, right? So at the end of the day, when we were all done with that, they said, okay, now like kind of evenly divvy all that stuff up so everybody got to take something home that was in that box and i got this fun little dressed to impress stamp set so you can see it's got the fun shoe and there are framelets too i think cut the shoe the both of the flowers the lipstick the perfume and then you got some other watercolor washy things and then the sentiments say be as bold as your lipstick that's that one right there you've got Hello, fabulous. Um, ooh, oh, this is awesome. Kindness is always in style. I love that. Life is short, buy the shoes. And then happy Mother's Day. So we've got a couple, I've got two Mother's Day um, stamps in my stamps, uh, my new stamps right there. So this is a fun stamp set, right? Whole suite of products built around this dress to impress. Their stamp set, the framelits, designer series paper, and then other fun embellishments. And I will show you. So these were the fun little cards. These are like little three by three note cards. I'm sure it is a kit. I should be a little more educated before I'm showing all. <laughs> That's the one you got too. Awesome, Sally. Very fun. Okay, so um, <clears throat> what was I saying? Oh, actually, let me show you. So cute note cards, but actually maybe even cuter 
little envelopes. So we stamped on there. Hey, Diana, how are you? I'm so glad you can join us today. Okay, so cute little scallop. Can you guys see? So polka dots, I stamped that little rose in there. And then look at, so they lined the inside of those cute little um, envelopes too. So stinking cute. So there's kind of a yellow. Um, this is kind of a peachy. I'm totally drawing a blank on my Stampin' Up! color name. So we're just going with peachy. Um, probably great, maybe Grapefruit Grove. This one, these are subtles, right? Oh, I don't know. Forget it. <laughs> and then this is this is going to be Highland Heather, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so got some more stripes and then stripes and then polka dots on the inside. So yeah, so these are the three. Um, yeah, there. Now you guys can see a little bit better, right? So that's the inside with the scallop. And then these are the outsides of these as well. So super cute right, little envelopes. And then here's actually one, but that I we all got like an extra one. Yeah, they're super cute little cards, aren't they, Philomena? So here, this is the little note card. It's got that little whoosh or wash on it already. And then, so this is the one, we did this. Be as bold as your lipstick. So super simple, stamping. And then I have to show you, so these are the um, champagne colored rhinestones. This was my, I don't know why I was so darn excited about these. I guess I love the bling, right? Because you can just sprinkle them all over anything, basically. So fun little champagne rhinestones. Those were um, not part of what we were supposed to do, but we had them on the table and I thought, I, oh, you know, stamps and ink and I had to add a little something. And Nancy gave me that idea. She put a little rhinestone on the top of her shoe and I thought that was super cute, right? Life is short, buy the shoes. I'm sure you all know a friend that you could send a card to like that, right? And then this one says, hello, fabulous. Oh, and I used a little, can you see, I used a little wink of Stella too. There was another one, didn't I? That I used, maybe not. Because I had a little snafu with my wink of Stella actually on another card, I'll show you in a sec. I squeezed and all of a sudden this huge blob came out. So that card's kind of a mess, but I'll show it to you anyway. Where is it? Oh yeah, it's right there. Okay, so that was that stamp, stamp set. Then, um, oh, I guess I didn't get, so, oh, this was my prize patrol. That's why, because I was like, I didn't make anything with this one. This was the prize patrol that actually, I think I won a different one, and then Nancy won this one, and she didn't want it, so we traded. Because <laughs> I thought, you know, someday I want to go to Paris, so that would be fun to have a Parisian beauty stamp set, right? So we've got the Eiffel Tower right there. Um, okay, <laughs> Lily, looked at my stuff too and she's like mom can you read that I'm like no I mean I guess if you try really hard but that's not the point it's just supposed to be pretty cursive like a background stamp right hey Sheila how are you I'm glad you could come hang out with me last night at the stamp studio and it was fun to meet Pam too finally um okay so this one I can read it says follow your heart it will take you to incredible places love that right life is a magnificent adventure and then that little flourish, it seems to be very Parisian French, right? Um, a little, oh, it's fun, like little airmail. You can stamp that little guy over that one. And then, ah, uh, you're the joy of my life there. The glare is off. And then another um, something or other there. Yeah. Yeah, but cute, huh? That's a fun stamp set. So, and then there are dies. This is a whole part of a whole nother suite too. So there are dies that cut these things out. There's paper and then other fun embellishments too. So we got some really good stuff. Okay, and then let me show you. <clears throat> These were the other make and takes. This ribbon might be part of, uh, I don't know. I think it was a different, we were supposed to do something else. I can't remember what happened with that. Um, this is some kind of white crinkly seam binding ribbon. I just had to have a little sample of it. I feel like maybe we we're supposed to color this with um, green ink. And mine looked really awful. I'm gonna be honest, after I colored it, I was like, this is really ugly. So we had this ribbon, yeah, that I used on another card. So this is kind of a, I think it's a petal pink with a champagne edge to it. Might be part of the Parisian suite, but don't quote me on that. Um, anyway, I love the ribbon though. I'm all about the ribbon and then those little rhinestones there too. And then some of the Poppy Designer Series paper with a little happy birthday. So this one was a really simple, simple card. In Poppy Parade cardstock. I have a feeling you're probably gonna wanna stock up on, well, Poppy Parade is a bright, so I guess it's not part of that, um, what's that called, the online extravaganza. So you, but my point was stock up on the Poppy Parade paper because I think you're gonna want that to go with all of um, the Poppy 
designer series paper that you're going to be needing out of this catalog. So, okay. Um, you know what's funny? I'm like, do I normally have that light on? I don't know if I do or not. The lighting seems weird in here today. Well, this is what we're going with. Okay, so this is the last make and take that we made, and this is where the ribbon was supposed to be used. Oh, yeah. And then this is where, can you see, this wink of Stella became like this huge nightmare globby mess. So I think it came out on this one, and then I tried to move it on all my others, and it's just, it's a mess. So um, this card's not very pretty, but the, the designer series paper is pretty, the ribbon is pretty, and my sentiment says, ah, always and forever. And did I put, I did put a couple of those little champagne rhinestones, because that was the other thing I ended up with. This is what we had left of the champagne rhinestones. I'm not really sure how big this is. It's kind of cut off here. That's just what was in our little bin, so. Um, well, you get 140, so you get a lot of champagne colored rhinestones too. So, so much good stuff. Yes, the colors are beautiful. Those are really nice, soft, pretty. Um, oh, I'm like, is that part of, it's not part of the Parisian beauty. Some of them though, they have like now, like the sweets are like mega sweets. So we have maybe like two stamp sets and two sets of framelits. So maybe that was part of it still. I don't know, I can't say. Um, but you know, we're just having fun right now. We will get all into that um, very, very soon. And so, like I said, as demonstrators, you can pre-order any of that stuff on December 3rd and already start getting celebration rewards, which is spend $50, pick a free celebration item. They do have a couple of items. If you spend $100, you can get like the bigger celebration items too. So, um, but yeah, get that starter kit now and then you can take advantage of all the awesome stuff that's coming with celebration in December early. Uh, or if you are patient, you wait until January 3rd and then you can start taking advantage of celebration um, and getting things out of the occasions catalog, okay? Um, oh, so, okay, I was on the Stampin' Up! website too and I just have to tell you guys, so they, they announced like, I don't know, a week or a couple weeks ago, the top, um, like the global top 100 and then they did by categories, but it was only like the top 25 maybe in sales and like 10 or 15 in the other categories. Um, and so I didn't make it into those things, but I've been very patiently, although I'll tell you every day I go click on the little thingy to see do they have the list up? Because there's an expanded list um, by country. So they did the top 250 globally and I actually made it. So I think last year I was like 198. So I, I made it into the top 250 globally. So this year I worked my way up a little bit further and I was at number 122, like all over the world, which is, I find like just like mind boggling really. Cause there are so many people working so hard um, and you know, sharing and loving what they're doing um, that I just feel really super privileged that I made it to 122 in the world. And then within the US, I was um, number 69 this year. And I think I was maybe like 98 in the US last year. So I'm, I'm working my way up there. So you guys, thank you because I, I obviously I couldn't do this without each and every one of you um, supporting me and loving what we're doing here. So thank you guys, thank you so much. It just means, it means so much because you know, you work really hard and it, it feels good to be recognized too. And that was the fun thing too about going to on stage was all the recognition that the girls in my group got too. I was like the proud mama with her camera wanting to take pictures of everybody as they stood and people clapped for them and Nancy got to walk across the stage because she had promoted to Silver Elite too. So it was really, it was just a great time. I just can't say enough. Um, I had not actually been to a like a local on stage because they were always just so far away and they were only a day long and I kind of couldn't justify like traveling super far so when it was in Lansing it was like this is a no-brainer um, but now I can see like okay I, I'm willing to travel um, mark your calendars though because um, when is that I think it's November 5th 6th and 7th of 2020 we're gonna be back at like the big on stage that's like a three day long event um, out in Salt Lake City. So anybody that's a demonstrator, mark your calendar, put your pennies away, get ready to save, and then head out to Salt Lake City. And I would love for as many Inkspired Stampers as, as would love to come. Um, or if you're not an Inkspired Stamper and I just know you through Facebook Lives or you know other things online, I'd love to meet you. Um, that was another really fun thing too. Other um, demonstrators that were in Lansing that had, you know, we kind of know each other through um, the Facebook Lives, um, I got to meet a number of them. So thank you guys for coming up and saying hello. It was, it was fun to meet um, people that I haven't 
you know, that I haven't actually in, in person gotten to meet before. So you guys, thank you very much. I appreciate that, Diana and Nikki. Um, so, okay, let's see, what else? Um, oh yeah, I guess I should say welcome to anybody that's new to Facebook Live. Thank you guys for joining us either on the live or if you watch later um, on our Facebook group or on YouTube. I always love to welcome and encourage um, new people to join us. So thank you if you're watching for the first time. Um, Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I kind of alluded to this before. One more day of the online extravaganza. So this is a sale. Basically, they put all of our Regals cardstock on sale and all of our neutrals, including 12 by 12 stuff. So I should be stocking up on that too. It's funny. I think I just had ordered. It was either Regals or neutrals like a couple days ago. <laughs> the 12 by 12 because I needed it for my scrapbook class. And then it went on sale like a few days later. So that's how that happens. That's how that goes. But that's all right. And you guys know if you're a demonstrator too, you get the um, sale prices and you get your discount off of the sale price too. So it's like kind of like double dipping on savings also. So good stuff. But yeah, one more day. So did I say that? Regals and neutrals. So cardstock and ink pads. And then they have like eight bundles. They're beautiful. I looked and I was like, oh good. I think I have most of those. So beautiful stamp sets and dies. They're all on sale. So today, mid night mountain standard time is the last second that you can put an order in and take advantage of the online extravaganza so do that while you still can okay um all right oh so the other thing i want to show you guys if you have been i have been having so much fun and actually you know what i forgot hold on i got one more thing before i move on to how i'm having so much fun um <clears throat> i have to show you guys the paper this is like this huge pack of paper i don't know how i overlooked this um Okay, we're just gonna pull it all out. Yeah, so a fun um, pack of paper. It was This was what they call an all attendee giveaway. So this is called, what is it? Country Club. Country Club Designer Series Paper. So fun for me personally, my dad is a huge golfer. Like that's, uh, in Michigan it's kinda hard. He spends some time out in Arizona too. Um, so he, he any of his free time that he can, he plays golf. And his birthday is in January. So when I saw, okay, this, it's a whole suite actually. Oh my gosh, uh, maybe I'm only gonna show you half of them. So what I'm trying to say is when I saw this and then we got the paper for free, I was like, awesome, now I know what I'm gonna use for my dad's birthday card this year. So, okay, so can you see the Argyle? This one actually looks, you can see it better there, right? Cause that's the back of the Argyle, like a little golf for men. Is it all men? Nope, there's a lady in a skirt too. So men and women golfing, right? So awesome, 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 right? That fun crest paper, some argyle, some plaid. What is that one? I have to look, I haven't even really looked at this very well. Oh, golf carts, oh, that's hilarious. They're like little teeny tiny golf carts. <laughs> that is too funny. Okay, so there's that, that's like one half. Cause I was gonna try to hold all 12 of them up. I'm like, that is never gonna work. Okay, and then here is the other half too. So. Fun, um, nice masculine paper, right? And a fun suite, like I said. Me personally, um, my mom was a huge golfer too. They, um, that was like one of their things that they did together a lot was to golf. And that's one of the reasons why they lived out in Arizona for winters for a while too, because they love to be out there and enjoy the, right? Not be in Michigan and like, in the winter time so yeah golfing is a huge part of my family and actually my son Cade is working out at our local golf course um, here in Alma not right now but all summer spring summer fall um, he's like a cart kid cart but I don't know whatever you call it I actually did it way back when myself too so that's kind of funny um, so okay yeah enough about all that so all right so cute fun paper too that's part of the occasions catalog if I didn't really specify that so now on to what I was starting to say was um, I'm having lots of fun with the uh, product of the week right the I'll pull this out more paper right so the I can't tell you, I just totally overlooked, and this is not even all of it, right? But this is that Night Before Christmas designer series paper, so those are just a few of the patterns. Um, but this is one, it just really didn't catch my eye for a long time, and then I opened it up and started playing with it, and I was like, this is so, it's kind of retro too, I think like kind of 60s retro some of it is. So maybe that's a little bit of the peel, the appeal at times too. But I made a video to show how super simple and easy it is 
to use this pack of designer series paper to make simple, fun, quick and easy cards. So I'm just gonna show you guys these real quick. I gave you more information on the video which is uploaded on YouTube, so Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio YouTube channel. You can check that out if you want more details. But I just had to show you guys. So here's one of them, because I used like probably, well, most of my favorite designer series paper. And I love how I just pulled ribbon that coordinated. So any of the colors and cardstock that coordinated, just look at the list of um, cardstock colors, um, ink colors that is on the pack of paper or listed in the catalog. Super, this is one I just love. Like, and I have a fake tree. I don't even go like Christmas tree shopping, but I think this is so cute. It's like a little Christmas tree farm with the twinkly lights. Like you're gonna go buy your tree for Christmas. Here's the fun Santa hat one. And then this one. So look at, isn't this paper just beautiful? I had so much fun with those cards. So check out um, the YouTube video if you want more details on that. Okay, um, let's do some drawings. I think we're ready for that. I have to make sure, yes, okay. So in my hot little Navy, Night of Navy uh, Stampin' Up trash bag here, we have names. Anyone that shared the video between right now, so share, share, share the video please, between, um, well, last Friday and and last night at about midnight when I prepped for this, <laughs> it was one of those weeks, right? You got your name in here, or if you signed up for my email list. If you're new to me and just signed up for my email list, <laughs> you could never have a real tree either. I know, well, because, okay, sadly enough, um, my tree's been up for maybe two weeks. I don't know, Lily and I decided, it was right about the time we were getting all the snow, we're like, you know what, we're decorating for Christmas. So we did. Uh, okay, so here we go. Yep, share the video, sign up for my email list, and your name goes in here. Oh, I didn't even show. Well, let's do a quick reminder. This is what we're giving away this week. These, maybe those will go better that way, right? The brightly gleaming foil elements. So those beautiful, um, they're, they're copper. Yeah, I was going to say bronze. That doesn't sound right. Okay, so yeah, here we go. Drawing a name and, oh, they're like three together. Okay, I got to get just one here. Come on. These flimsy little pieces of paper. Okay, I'm down to one. And, ooh, Miss Dorothy Everett, who is new to my email list. So Miss Dorothy, if I'm gonna check, so on Constant Contact, if you gave me your email or your, your mailing address, these are going out right away. If not, I will email you um, to get your address. Or if you're watching, send me your address and I will get these um, brightly gleaming foil elements mailed out to you, Miss Dorothy Everett. So congratulations, Dorothy. All right, we're gonna put those away. So this week, we are gonna give away, and I meant to, all my projects with this ribbon are down at the studio, and I meant to grab one um, this morning. <clears throat> Excuse me, I gotta get a quick sip. <laughs> oh, Sally, I'm just saying the me, 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 sorry. Hopefully next time, right? That's very nice of you. Very gracious, Miss Sally, to say congratulations. Okay, so this is what we're gonna give away this week. This is the Seaside Spray. It's a metallic ribbon. It's beautiful, sparkly, fun ribbon. <laughs> yes, you, oh, yeah, Sheila, you do need that golf paper, yeah. <laughs> very cool. Okay, so this is so funny. There are, um, kids are on a half day today because they had final exams, and there were a couple of kids just walking by, like the sidewalk is right outside here, and they looked in the window and they're like, who's she talking to? Like, maybe they think I'm talking to her. So <laughs> it was just really funny. They had like the weirdest expressions on their face. So, okay. So yeah, so this is what we're going to give away. So I will do the drawing next week for this beautiful seaside spray metallic ribbon. Just share the video anytime between now and next Thursday at midnight, right? Or uh, if you're new and haven't signed up for my email list, do that. Plus the other fun thing, if you haven't signed up for my email list before, you get a free tutorial valued at $15 just for signing up for my email list. So it's like already a win if you haven't signed up yet. Do that and you get your free tutorial and maybe you'll win the ribbon too. So we will do that drawing next week, okay? So, um, yeah, oh, all right. Um, so I actually, this is crazy because we did have that online extravaganza sale. I didn't have any order online orders this week. So that stamp set, it was the Memories of Home stamp set that I was gonna give away. I don't have anyone that I can give it away to. So I guess I'll have to keep it myself. So you might be seeing some fun projects with that very soon. Um, but in the meantime, this week, we are gonna give away, this is a full pack of the night before Christmas designer series paper. So I'm not gonna open this 
because I want to keep it intact um, for whoever might win for putting their online order in between now and next Wednesday at midnight. If you put at least a $30 order in, I'll show you. It's this pack, right? The one I just showed you guys. So this fun pack of paper, right? You can win the fun um, Night Before Christmas Designer Series paper pack if you put an online order in and use the host code that I will give you in just a few minutes. And you guys know the host code is always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. <laughs> what is Sally saying? You can give to me because you like me. I do like you, Sally. I do. But we got to be legit because otherwise this like really bad karma to like um, you know, rig the drawings or something. I'm like, that's one thing I cannot do. So we got to be legit. Share the video, share it a bunch of times and your name will go in there a bunch of times. How about that? And then your odds are better, right? Okay. So, um, and actually speaking of Miss Sally, I need to mention, I had a couple of fun things happen recently in our Inkspired Stampers group. So Sally, Miss Sally McLennan reached qualified recruit uh, with $900 in sales. She just did that this month. So congratulations to Miss Sally on that. Um, she actually gets a $25 shopping spree from me. So Sally, let me know what you would like. Um, and then Julie Wilmot, oh darn, she says, um, Julie Wilmot promoted to Bronze Elite, which is super fabulous. That's the point everybody needs to strive for because when you get to $1,800 in sales, you promote to Bronze Elite and then you get a 25 per, excuse me, 25% discount off of everything that you order or sell through Stampin' Up. So starts out at a 20% discount when you get to Bronze Elite at $1,800 in sales, you get a 25% discount. So like I said, that's the thing that everybody needs to strive for because why would you not want to get that extra 5% off of everything that you sell or an additional like a pay raise, a 5% pay raise. That's pretty fabulous, right? Hey, Joelle, how are you doing? I'm, I hope you're doing well. Glad you can join us. Um, okay, I think... I have to do my quick peek here. Oh, I know the other thing. Yeah, so we had our Inspired Stampers meeting earlier this week, um, and we made some really fun, these are gift tags that we made, kind of just in time for the holidays. I was actually showing them, um, you know, these are great fun just to make for yourself, to make as a gift, or to run as a class. And we put them in, and it's maybe gonna be a little bit hard to see, but this is one of our um, stamp cases, kind of the clear stamp case. So if I get really close, can you see? Because we used um, like subtle colors, which were beautiful, right? So this white piece is actually embossed with that brick wall embossing folder. And then we used some of the subtles designer series paper and some of the gold glimmer, glimmer shimmer paper. I can't remember what we call it anymore. But so it's a fun little um, like package, right? That you can put your tags and you kind of can kind of see them on the back here. So I want to show you guys these because I thought they were so fun. Okay, so this is one of the tags. And the other cool thing was these tags all featured um, punches, punch bundles. So stamp set and punch um, that are in our holiday catalog. So this one is obviously the snowman season. You can see the stamp set and the punch and we used little purple Highland Heather. And then this one opens up and you got your little two from right there, right with your ribbon. So the idea was if you did a class, um, you could offer for people to make like three or four of each of these tags and then pop them all in that cute little um, holder. So here's another one. Isn't that pretty? So this is part of the, um, I think it's called Two Every Season. It's the little punch pack. Can you see those little, um, Oh, what are those called? Those are snowflakes. Yes, the little snowflake punch. And they're actually four. So there's the snowflake, there's a bat, there's a heart, and there's a leaf. So four little baby punches that I, I haven't even really looked to see if they're going to carry over. I really hope they do because I love those little baby punches. And then we got a fun little Merry Christmas. We put our to and from on the back there. This one is made in a mint macaron. Where is the light? There we go. Mint macaron. So the gold is just really pretty kind of highlighting. And actually we're using, so this is, um, I'll show you this one again. We've got the gold shimmer ribbon and then those gold um, glimmer dots that as far as I know are still available. Those were the thing that just came out as part of the Christmas time is here. Sweet, I'm looking, I've got my flyer right over there. So if you haven't gotten that stuff yet, make sure you get it as soon as you can. Um, so, cause it's, it'll, those things will go, I think like the ribbon and the dots, cause those are just so much fun and simple to play with, right? So here's another one. 
Actually, no. This is mint macaron. As I went to say, what color is this? This is pool party, right? A little more light blue, right? This is our mint macaron. Um, and then this one is with the pine tree punch and the perfectly plaid um, stamp set. And then some more of that um, subtle designer series paper and one of those cute little glimmer dots, right? And then here, oh, well, and on the inside, there, we just did a little two from. So this cute little note card um, gift tag kind of things. <laughs> Thank you, Philomena. And then here is the last one. So this one features, um, is it the Christmas gleaming or brightly gleaming stamp set and then the punches that coordinate with that with some more ribbon and the little Merry Christmas and then another little two from. And then this, so this is petal pink paper and then we actually use Calypso Coral. Um, ink and designer series paper. So just fun little gift tags. Um, something different too, not the red and green that we have used so traditionally, which is great, right? But something kind of softer, a little, little different, right? So fun little uh, make and takes, yeah. Okay, now I think we are ready to flip the camera down, yes. Yes, we are, okay, for real, <laughs> okay. I was just checking to make sure. Okay, so we are gonna do some stamping now. Are you guys ready for this? All right, I'm trying to get my grid paper. All right, here we go. Turn your heads away, we're flying through the air. Moving to the other clip. We are not gonna call 911, I hope. <laughs> it's my biggest fear every single time I move my phone now. Okay, we are gonna flip the camera. Okay, good, that did that. Got it. Twist this up just a bit. What do I want to do? Maybe I'll go. Will that do it? Sorry, guys. I'm trying to, I'm being a little fidgety here. Okay. I think that will be good. So, just as a quick reminder, this is our host code for this month for November. Oh, she's Sally says, Stampin' Up just called me. Demonstrators can pre order the mini trimmer between December 3rd and January 3rd. And then new demonstrators probably can get. There's a see more button. New demonstrators can get the mini trimmer free in their kit. Okay, so that's good to know. If you want that cute little paper trimmer, um, it, you can only get it between December 3rd and January 3rd if you're a demonstrator. If you're not a demonstrator, get the starter kit on January 3rd and then you automatically get that for free. Okay, thank you, Sally, I appreciate it. That's good info to know. Now I just have to remember that. <laughs> okay, so this is our host code. If you're um, ready to put an order in this week, the host code is NG6VTDEC, okay? Oh, and it says, she's saying the trimmer item number will, will be available on December 3rd also. Okay, so, all right, let's see. Um, which one are we gonna do? I think we're gonna do this one first. Okay, so I had to use more of, so these are a couple of other patterns that you haven't seen yet, uh, part of our Night Before Christmas designer series paper. And it was funny as I was, I think I was going through, you know, and making all these cards and then I would flip, ooh, what I didn't show you actually, I would use one side here and then I would, if I liked the other side, uh -huh, and that one actually is the same one. I would put, I would kind of decorate the inside with the back side or maybe that same paper, right? So when I saw this one, I was like, oh, I really like that paper. So I kind of kept it aside thinking, okay, I want to make a card to show you guys today with that paper. So that is what we are doing. So again, here is a piece of the six by six designer series paper with those fun, actually we go that way, right? Fun presents on one side and then, um, I don't know, star kind of little baby stars in there, right? Very pretty, right? Okay, so, and the other thing I wanted to point out too was that I used the Mary Moose stamp set, which I know we are all super sad that the Moose guy has already sold out the punch. You can still get the Mary Moose stamp set and you can still stamp these. You would either fussy cut them or just stamp them and leave them as is. But it's still a great stamp set too because I love those little pine trees. And then we use that happiest of holidays right there. Did I put anything? Oh, I did another tree on the inside too. So, okay. So let me show you uh, a fairly simple card. You guys know me. I really like the simple stamping. Um, and I, cause I love to feature like 
It's all about the designer series paper and this is just add a little bit of stamping to it. <laughs> yes, you, I like that the design, especially decorated on the, oh yeah, I know. I love doing the insides of um, the cards now too, Sally. I've, I neglected that for a little while. I might stamp something on the inside sometimes, but I'm having lots of fun because then it sh helps me to be able to show you guys more stamps, for example, in the, in the um, stamp set too. So, okay. All right, let's see. We are going to get what we need out here. And I buried all my adhesives with all of that product I was showing you guys. But okay, I think we're, I think we're good here. All right, we'll get a couple more of these things out. <laughs> okay, these are all my parts and pieces that I need. Okay, so what I think I want to do, let's do our stamping first. Because we need to stamp our tree and then I used the um, rectangle stitched dies to cut that out. So let's go ahead and stamp that. All right, actually I don't need that piece. Okay, so we've got this one. We are going to use Mossy Meadow ink. Okay, we've got our tree punch. I feel like this is just barely going to be big enough. I feel like I should have given myself a little bit bigger piece of paper. And I don't know why I didn't, but okay, we're gonna, I think it'll be all right. Okay, so I'm pressing firmly to make sure I get all the ink off of my stamp and onto my paper. And these little things are gonna swish everything off the table for me. I hadn't really thought about that. Okay, then we just have a little, this is um, just a little half inch wide strip of very vanilla. We're using very vanilla on these today. Um, with our happiest of holidays. Yep, there it goes. I'm going to put this right in the middle and then I can trim it down. And I brought an extra one in case I didn't stamp it straight, but that worked really well. I did it. I did it straight. Yay. Okay. Then this is a piece of, this is a very vanilla four inches by five and a quarter inches. That's what's going to go on the inside here of that piece, okay? So we are gonna grab our other little, so this is the smaller pine tree. We have a bigger one and then we have a smaller one. Okay, there we go. There's something about that detail, right? Oh yeah, Sally's asking about the moose punch. Yes, it's gone forever, unfortunately. They have sold out. Um, I think what happens is and I'm sure, you know, they thought they had enough that it wasn't going to sell out quite this quickly. Um, but by the time they would have the manufacturer make more moose punches and actually get them, um, there there wouldn't be much selling time left. So that's why they've basically said it's sold out and gone. So that's kind of a good thing to keep in mind, though, that this is the time when things do start selling out. So if there's anything from the holiday catalog that you've been wanting and haven't ordered yet, I would do it as quickly as possible. You might as well use that host code, right? And then you can get a couple of these fun cards sent as thank yous. Um, to you as well, right? So yeah, don't wait though, because like I said, things are gonna start selling out and you don't wanna miss out on something that you've been, that you were wanting, right? Okay, so I'm gonna grab the big shot and we're gonna just die cut this one little guy here. All right, so we've got, hey Debbie, how are you? It was so nice to meet you at on stage last weekend. I was saying earlier that that was a really fun highlight for me was meeting people that I kind of have met through our Facebook lives and online and haven't like literally officially met um, in person. So, okay, these are the rectangle stitched dies and we are using, this is the one, two, this is the third smallest in that set, if you guys can see those, okay? That's what we're gonna use to die cut our tree right here. Okay, so we're just gonna center that up. I've got my magnetic platform, the one clear pad underneath, my paper, the die with the cutting edge down, and then the other clear um, cutting pad on top. Thank you for the share, Debbie, I appreciate that. Okay, so there's, with the fun stitching, right? Don't you, I want every die to have stitching on it now. I love the stitching. <laughs> okay, so scoop that. Alrighty, so let me give you a couple of other measurements here. <laughs> I'm so glad you can join us, Debbie, thank you. 
Okay, this doesn't ever work for me though because this isn't quite long enough anymore. Well, I'll just show you, right? So we have, this was our full piece of cardstock, right? I guess it kind of works. We cut it in half at five and a half inches, right? Along the 11 inch side. And then along, this is our eight and a half inch side right here. We scored it at four and a quarter inches and that's how we make our um, card base, right? Then this piece of designer series paper measures, this is five and a quarter by four inches. And that's just gonna layer right on there. Although we're not gonna put it on yet, we're gonna kind of build everything up because I wanna tie that ribbon around and then put it all on the card front at once, okay? So let's start doing that. Oh, you guys need measurement for this one. This is the fun star paper that's part of my, um, the little tree farm with the sparkly lights, right? So this piece measures one and a half by four inches, okay? Oh, and I will give you some measurements for everything that we are using on this project today so you can duplicate it yourself if you would like to. All the item codes, if you need to order the paper or the cardstock or the stamp set or any of that, um, all of that will be on my blog at Gathering Inspiration. Dot com later on this afternoon. I get everything posted and uploaded and it'll all be there for you. So, okay. So I was kind of funny about trying to um, kind of center it, I guess, so I could still see lots of stars. All right. So we've got that one. We are going to put this little guy on. Ooh, I need some more dimensionals. That's all right. Okay. There we go. So we're gonna put those dimensionals on the back there. You know what? I didn't pop that one up now that I'm looking. Oh, well, we're popping this one up on here on the, on the card I was showing you. I'm looking, I'm like, that's not popped up. The sentiment is, but that's okay. This is what we're doing this time. So we're gonna pop that little baby, maybe, right about there, okay? Then we have this little guy. And we are just gonna use our snips. We're gonna kinda trim that off right there and I find it easiest to just eyeball where the center of this is and make a little snip right up in the center and then I go from the corner to where I snipped right and then I'm going to flip it over because I find it's easier than coming in this way I just flip it over and do the same thing on the other side my mind can't work well that other way right and then I just literally kind of eyeballed because I didn't want to cover my tree up too much um, and actually got fairly close to the sentiment. So we just trim it off right there. So now, because I don't like things that are bumpy, like with both of these undimensionals, I'm just gonna put some adhesive there and a little mini dimensional right there. And that will do it. Okay. So we've got that there, that there. All right, we'll put that maybe right about there, right? Now we can tie. This is some of our braided linen trim. There, now it's in view, right? So we are gonna just wrap this. I wanna pull some more. And you guys are noticing I'm not cutting this and trying to work with a piece that I've pre-cut. I want to keep it on the bolt. So if I don't give myself enough to work with, I can always pull more off the bolt. It's really hard to just work with a little strip and hope that you cut the right length. Okay, that's my big tip for the day. Don't cut your ribbon off the bolt. Keep it on there until you are sure you like what you've done. And that, now we can work with that. So I'm gonna trim that off there. And you know, then you just have to kind of play with things a little bit to get the bow. And I like to kind of put my finger over the knot because it does kind of come loose. There, okay. I'm gonna trim those down a little bit. They're a little bit long for me. So we're gonna just trim those down without trimming your finger there too, right? Okay, now we can add this to our card. Okay, that one and that one. Okay, here's our card base. And the mossy meadow, so pretty, huh? Mossy meadow and um, crushed curry are the colors on here. And you guys all know this, right? I have just this little pack now. So when you get your, this is our Night Before Christmas Designer Series paper, in very, very, very small print, it tells you all of the colors of cardstock and ink that coordinate with um, 
the designer series paper. So right here you can see somewhere I've got crushed curry and I've got mossy metal. So great handy reference. One of the best things about Stampin' Up! is that beautiful color coordination. That's what makes super cute projects. Simple, right? Very, very simple, but super duper cute and all very well coordinated, right? So last step I had to add, because I got this card done and I was like, okay, I need a little something more. And I realized it was pearls. So I am just going to kind of sprinkle a few. I like that. That's what I think that's why I like the rhinestones so much too. Oops. I'm just going to kind of sprinkle some pearls almost like maybe like I've got garland or something on my tree. We're just going to put a few there. And if you don't push super hard, you can move those around until you get them just where you like. But there we go. Okay, she, she's saying thanks. I never, oh, about the cardstock colors maybe. Yeah, very handy on every single pack of paper, Sally, and anyone else that doesn't know that. Or they're all listed in the catalog too. And I don't, maybe, I guess I said it in my video, but honestly, when I made these cards, that was literally what I did first, was I looked at that list of cardstock colors and I pulled every single one of them out. And then that's what kind of helped me build because I used two pieces of, of cardstock behind each of those there. Um, but yeah, that's what helped me get those made very quickly and simply and easily. And then what colors to use also for um, ink. Okay, so, oops, I forgot to put the inside in. So let's do that. Because I realized, I think I made a video the other day, or maybe it was on Facebook Live. I don't know, I can't remember. But I remember later looking and going, oh, I forgot to show them what I did on the inside of the card. So, and this one's really simple, but I love that little tree right there. So, okay, so this is one of the cards that you will get for free if you use the host code and put your online order in um, this week. Anytime between now and next Wednesday. Okay, so here, let me just scoot things out of the way a little bit. Otherwise, I get very confused looking at things and thinking I need them for the project I'm going to make next. And that's not true. Okay, so I think we're good. Get the moose stamp set out of the way. Okay, so this was the other card that I wanted to show you guys. That's crooked and that bugs me. Okay, here. <laughs> this is one that I definitely thought was retro. Like there's something about those stripes on there, almost like someone might have a shirt or pants that are made <laughs> or maybe a couch. I don't know. Anyway, but I, I loved like it was just kind of fun, quirky paper too. So again, using our designer series paper, same idea. Um, and then with um, the fun little Mary and Bright stamp set and we did some embossing on our ornaments there with again, I feel like a little bit retro look. Um, to the embossing on those. So let me give you some info on that card too. There, you guys can see it, right? Okay. Alrighty, so we have, let's see, let's get that out of the way. I've got all my parts and pieces here. And oh, I'll show you my stamp set. I love this stamp set, the Everything Festive stamp set. So we used that Merry and Bright right there. Um, but this is great because it's not just for holidays, right? We've got this is kind of a Valentine-y or love. P.S. I love you. No tricks, just treats for Halloween. Winter Wonderland, be my Valentine. Wishing you peace, love, and laughter in the new year. And then up here, the two our home or from our home to yours. And I love all the, kind of how they sprinkled, right? Again, it's almost like they're sprinkling rhinestones, but instead they've got some, uh, what are those? Those are snowflakes. Yes, maybe kind of sparkly little stars on that one. So awesome stamp set. If you don't have this one, I have been loving. And I think that's what fun too is any of these kind of big, bold um, sentiments like this are great when you can pair it with your designer series paper, like in this case, and it, neither one really detracts from the other, but they're both kind of big and bold enough that they can stand like together on a card too. So basically just your designer series paper and a fun, bold sentiment. It's all you need. And then maybe add just a little bit of fun to it, right? Okay. So for this one, if I get my pieces out again. All right, I think I do have everything. Oh yeah, and my punches. So if you guys don't have these, right, the um, brightly gleaming, I think they are, I don't know, right? The punches, can you guys see? I'm trying to get them in a good angle, right? Okay, so we've got like a big ornament and a little ornament right there, okay? All right, here we go. Where are we gonna start? Let's do our stamping actually, because, 
Well, here, we got a couple things we can do. We're gonna actually punch, because we need to punch these, and then we're gonna die cut them. <laughs> Thank you, Philomena, I'm glad you like that card. Okay, so this is um, Poppy Parade cardstock, because that is Poppy Parade um, on my designer series paper, okay? So that was the little punch. Then with, this is um, Pretty Peacock. We're gonna punch our big ornament right there, okay? And we're gonna emboss those in a sec. And we are also going to do our stamping on this piece right here. So I'm gonna stamp my Merry and Bright. So I have my Poppy Parade, which again, Poppy Parade, right in there in my designer series paper. I'm gonna use my Poppy Parade ink pad. That was being funny. I was afraid I was gonna fling that somewhere. And this one, I think I need to re-ink. So bear with me. When I stamped something the other day, it came out kind of faint. So I'm gonna kind of tap around there pretty well to make sure I have a good amount of ink. And I'm hoping I didn't get anything. Okay, good. I was hoping I didn't have like a ring that it was gonna like show up because I, I pretty heavily inked that stamp there. But okay, we're good with that. All right, so now we are going to die cut this piece, vanilla. This is very vanilla that we used. And then this is just another scrap of um, Pretty Peacock that we're gonna die cut there too. Okay, so scooting those, scooting those, there we go. All right, we're gonna grab our Big Shot again. I mean our die cutting machine. <laughs> Soon enough, we will have another die cutting machine. I can't wait to see what they're gonna come up with. Okay, so we're gonna do our Merry and Bright and our Pretty Peacock cardstock, we have, these are the layering square dies. And you guys know me, I always put them on the back here so I don't have to futz around with which size did I use. I will tell you though, let's flip that open. So this one came from right there, and this is one to the third largest with the scallop edge, okay? And then this one is my straight edge that came from right here. So we've got one, two, three. This is the fourth largest straight edge. So actually that one goes there. Okay, not to do that incorrectly. Okay, so the scallopy one goes on my pretty peacock and then the straight edge one goes on my sentiment. Is that good? There, okay. So we're gonna cut these and then we need to emboss our little um, ornaments. Well, Monica, hello. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying these cards. I'm glad you can join us. And hey, Susie, I'm glad you can be here with us too. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Okay, so those pieces are just going to layer right on there like that, right? And I think I need both of these. I know I don't need my magnetic platform, so I'll scoot that one out of the way. And where, okay, here we go. <laughs> Crafter math has happened on this table. I'm glad you guys can't see it. I was like in a panic. Uh, where's my, my, I couldn't find my platform for a sec. And then my dot, or my embossing folder. Okay, so we're just gonna lay these. We're gonna try to make sure that they're straight in here. Straight enough anyway, right? Okay, that looks good. All right, we're gonna put that. Yeah, I do need two, don't I? Okay, so I've got my, my regular platform, one clear cutting pad underneath, my folder with my paper in it, and then another clear cutting pad on top. Okay, cranking those through, and let's see. Fun, 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 huh? There's just something about that that is totally retro for me also. I don't know if you guys see that too or not. Okay, scooting that. We do not need the die cutting machine anymore. Um, okay, you guys want maybe some measurements, so let's talk about that real quick. So this is a piece of Pretty Peacock cardstock that we cut, so along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches, and then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? So that's our card base, right? Then um, same measurement for both pieces, our designer series paper and our vanilla that goes on the inside. These both measure four by five and a quarter inches. And then this was actually a little piece that came right off of there, right? I actually put that on there and added it to the inside of my card. So this is just a little, this is, oops, excuse me, one inch by four inches. And you know what, let's just put that right on right now so I don't lose anything, okay? 
So this one can go right here. That looks crooked. Hmm, I wonder if I can get that off. If I don't, if I didn't press too hard, I can get that off. You guys probably wouldn't have even noticed that. And maybe if I hadn't slipped my glasses on, <laughs> I wouldn't have noticed it either, but okay. There we go. Now, we'll just put this right on the inside of our card. Okay. All right, so we're gonna add that right in there and then the inside is decorated. So simple, cute, easy, 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 okay? Now for this, we actually, oh, the other piece that you need, I wanted to use ribbon, but I couldn't find anything that I liked. And then I realized, you know what, just a half inch strip, this is a half inch by four inches. It kind of looks like ribbon or just a band and it works really well with those stripes, the bold stripes too, I thought. Um, let's see, I want, I'm starting to get adhesive on here and I don't like it when things stick, so I'm gonna use my little silicone mat. That way, when I roll off the edge of this, it doesn't stick on anything, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna put my little half inch wide strip right down on there. Now I can add this designer series paper, and this is funky, isn't it? This is one I kinda of couldn't do, I don't know. There's something about, it's crushed curry, it may appeal to some people and that is lovely, but this this is one where I was like, oh, I'm glad I like this side. You know, it happens like that sometimes, right? Okay, so there's that piece right there. Then we are gonna build our sentiment here. Oops, so we're gonna add, all right, I feel like I'm getting to the end there. It's not running quite as well. And there's our Mary and Bright. Love that, just so fun, quirky that sentiment there. Okay, we're gonna pop this up on dimensionals. Definitely needing some more dimensionals. Okay, we can peel these off and put our sentiment on. Okay, almost there. This is um, um, when I'm like, oh, it's quiet. Not that you guys could be really rowdy, right? Okay, so we're gonna put that there. Now, let me see, I did pop both of those up on dimensionals. So let's go ahead and do that, right? Okay, I'm gonna put that there. Ooh, I have one more in the corner, okay, good. And then I actually used, let's use some minis. I want one on the bottom and one over here because this piece, this is just me. I don't like to put another one there and then that kind of bumps up too much. So that's just gonna lay flat right on there because I didn't put a dimensional behind that side, okay? Hope that makes sense. It's just me. It's like this quirky thing, okay? So one goes there, and what you can do is add a little bit of adhesive um, if you wanna help that kind of lay right on there, okay? So that one goes there, and then we need, I put that away because I thought I was done, my braided linen trim. So again, we're just gonna make a little bow, loop that around, put that over my thumb, keep a little hole to pop that through, right? And we can make, oh yeah. It's so easy when I'm not doing it on a video and then I try to be all cool and tell you guys how to make one and it, <laughs> it gets kind of wonky on me there. Okay, all right, I think we are good. Trim that little baby off. I do want a glue dot. Sometimes with um, twine, like that really thin baker's twine, I will just use my adhesive, but this is thick enough because um, sometimes the glue dots are too big. So when you put your twine on it, there's still a bunch of sticky popping out and I don't like that either. So I use glue dots when I need a bigger dot, basically. So there is our, oh no, we're not quite done. We're not quite done. We have to use more rhinestones, right? We're gonna just sprinkle a couple of our holiday rhinestones. And you guys will see, like these to me seem very like Knight of Navy, but when I put them on here with my pretty peacock, they just like kind of magically became pretty peacock for me, I thought. So there we go. We're just gonna put a couple of those there. Press down to make sure those stick. And that is it. <laughs> so thank you, Diana. I'm glad that you like those cards. Here, where are, here's my other one. I'm trying to find. Okay, so quick reminder right here is that host code. If you use this when you order, the NG6VTDEC, 
When you order online, use that host code, spend at least $30, and you're gonna get both of these cards that I just showed you. And your name is gonna go into the drawing so you can make these cards, right? I'll give you a couple so you have the layout of them, right? And then you could win the Night Before Christmas Designer Series paper, right? If you bump your order up to $50, you also get a free package of the Star Designer Elements. Oops. That one kind of scooted over. There. Yeah. So lots and lots of good stuff if you order online through me, which I truly, truly appreciate every single order, no matter how large or how small. I will tell you, though, as I'm saying that, if you are going to put a large order in, if it's over $150, do not use that host code. You will get the host benefits yourself, so you get the free stuff yourself, and I will still send you the cards and the free embellishment, and I'll put your name in the drawing. Okay, so thank you guys. Hey, Liz, I just see you popped on and thank you so much, Susie. I'm glad you guys could watch today. Thank you so much. It, it's funny because I was a little bit, you know, in kind of one of those, uh, not really down in the dumps, but just kind of ho-hum moods today. And then I play with all this fun stuff and I'm like smiling and feeling good. So thank you guys for helping me get out of my funk this morning. I appreciate that. I hope you guys all have a great day. And if you're in a funk, pull your stuff out and play with it because it will inevitably make you feel um, better, right? Okay, so thanks guys. Have a good weekend. Oh yeah, and Thanksgiving. I will I will be here next Friday. I was trying to decide if I was gonna do it or not, but I, I am like 99% positive that I will be here next Friday at 11.30 a.m. right after Thanksgiving. So you guys have a beautiful Thanksgiving with family and friends, um, and hopefully you're able to relax a little bit and, and enjoy your holiday. So we'll see you next Friday. Thanks everybody. Have a good weekend. Bye.